everyone welcome to joy feather international and as always we got something exciting to share with you something that will help you inspire your life move you to the next level become better people my name is joy fido and welcome on board okay so what's the topic for today today it's another explosive topic um it's about something i i woke up and realized that we are all guilty of it people design that's what it's called we all sit in our world and design people and my question is it's not a question it's just a confirmation people designing we are all guilty we are all guilty of it and so let's see what causes this type of problem You know what they say, no man is an island. There is no way you can live all by yourself no matter what happens. And so we generally have to live with people. We have families, we have friends, we have partners. We have people that we just have to relate to. And so this is what then happens. We then sit in our world because we all live in different worlds. When I say different worlds, what I have mentally in my head is not what you have in your head, is not what the other person has in their head. And so everybody got things in their head. We all have that mental voices going on in our head. And you know, even from so many books we read, our iris, are not the same. Our finger thumbprints or fingertips are not the same. And this is why some people they just say thumbprint because your thumb is different from the next person's thumb. Your iris is different. That's what we use now in passports, international passports. You get to the border, you open your eyes into the machine and it scans and it knows that's you. So that's how unique we all are. We are all different people. And so those mental voices going on in our head is telling us different things at different times. And I remember, interestingly, I read somewhere, I was in one of the videos I watched again, and I think it was Dr. Monroe, Mas Monroe, and he said, we don't get involved with people based on emotions because one minute your emotion may be so high the same person you are all over this person you're so excited and everything and the next minute that same emotion has dropped down and you are a completely different person and so when we start hearing these voices that makes us who we are that's our world and so what could then go wrong is when we then use our voices to dictate the other person it's invariably like saying God I want to create that person in my image you remember what the Bible said God created us in his own image and so no matter how unique we are God has created all of us to be unique this is where you now hear culture here race you here height you hear hair color you hear skin color you hear voice tonality you hear everything that's the way God has created us to be different and so when people then sit in their world I want to change and alter the other person you're invariably trying to create that person in your image 
So you're not trying to take on the role of God to create somebody else in your image. And that's what I mean by people designing. We just want to sit out there and design other people to be like us. Because that's how in our head that person becomes perfect. Now unfortunately there is nobody perfect in this world. There's not one person. And that's why the Bible said it clearly. We have all sinned and gone you know, short of the glory of God. And that's why Jesus was sent to come and redeem us. If you're a Christian and another religion will tell you other things. But it is same down to the fact that we are not perfect. None of us are. And so this, this finally hit me one bright morning. I woke up and, you know, like I talk about different things. I talk about marriage, I talk about relationships, and I talk about dealing with other people. And I was just in my usual state of mind wondering why. In my particular case, I struggle a lot with my husband, understanding his personality. And somehow a little voice crept into my ear like, you know, the person you're looking for does not exist and will never exist. It was very eerie. The person you're looking for does not exist and will never exist. And I started wondering to myself, who am I looking for? Then it clicked. I'm trying to creating my head what my husband should be because somehow in my head this is the image I created that why is he not fitting into that image and that's what the voice was telling me this person you are creating in your head does not exist will never exist and he went for that to tell me that person is you so the person I have created imagining to be my husband is me i have created myself in another form in my head hoping that my husband will fit into that role and i think most of us are guilty of this we have images of our children we've created this is what my child should be in the minute our child doesn't fit into that is a problem we've created an image of what our friends should be in the minute they're not fitting into that is a problem our relatives should be, they don't fit in, is a problem. The workplace should be, the minute that workplace is not what we have created, is a problem. You see how we are all guilty of it. So the bigger message here is for us to start understanding that no matter how we think we may be perfect and good at what we do and we we can never create another person and the same applies to my viewers and people who follow me in various forum and sometimes you you bring out something the way you say it and then you have millions of people who will not tell you that what you've done is wrong no 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 that's not the right way and then the question becomes so what is the right way who created the right way? I mean, I, I met one of my teachers who said, look, look out for this whole epistemology. And I said, what, was, what, what does that mean? He said, is the fact that who created knowledge? Who started knowledge? And that's one thing we need to start asking ourselves constantly. Epistemology. This, whatever is this thing that people tell you is the right thing, who created that right thing? I know there's the issue of law and other, and if we, if we don't do this, there'll be chaos in the system. Yes, that's fine. And then usually I query, so who wrote that law and for who? But the reality is we should stop people designing. We should stop expecting to be you know, to be the one who designs people around us. We should stop expecting to, people to fit into the role we have given them. We should now start understanding how to work around people. I know 
I, I, I do my videos where I'm trying to understand what it is about human beings. But this is where my big question is most times to people. If you are doing a particular thing, yes, that's your personality, that's who you are. Because I get told all the time by people around me, my husband, my children, oh, but that's you, you think you're perfect. I'm not perfect. But this is where I have questions for anyone out there. If you are doing something in a particular way, and it's not working for you. It's not serving you the purpose for which you're hoping to have. Do you have to keep carrying on doing that thing that same way? Because there's something they call, I've been to some of these personal development workshops where they say, madness is when you keep doing the same thing and expecting a different result. That's madness. Because you're doing things the same way you've always done it, but somehow, somewhere in your head, you think your result will be different. So this is the only place I get, I, I get involved now with people. I'm not interested in any in, anymore in trying to make people fit into the role I think they should have fitted into. I now understand and I have accepted that people will be different. Because just, just the way nature created us. Reading this book, A Purpose Driven Life, which I've been reading over and over, I've understood that characters will be different and that's what makes us who we are. And that's why we should accept the fact that there are so many races and so many different people who come in different heights, different color, different hair texture, different accents, different everything that's just what makes life what it is it makes it exciting the more variety you know what they say is the spice of life that's what makes nature the way it is but if you happen to be doing something and it's not working for you it's not giving you the results you want this is where you have to try and change it try and do something about it i've been going on and on so much recently about knowledge and the bible says it king solomon proverbs 4 7 knowledge 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 is the first thing we seek in life because in everything we do the first thing we should do is understand it have knowledge of it i even call it know-how how do they do this thing? I want to know how they do this thing. Because this is what changes life for the better for all of us. That's a video for another day. But today, our focus is understanding the fact that human beings will be human beings. We are all different and we must accept that. And once we can accept that, life will be a lot easier for all of us life will be a lot easier and this goes both ways you are expecting something from your partner the partner expecting you you are expecting your children your children expecting you your mother your mother expects you and you expect your mother everybody should simply understand the fact that we are all created differently and that's the way it is but for you as a person today, what you want to remind yourself is, if you are doing something in a particular way and it's not working for you, please change it. Don't say, that's my personality. Oh, you better take it or leave it. Watch yourself. Tell yourself, this is what I want to get out of this. If it's not working, do something about it. Change it. And so I hope this has made things a bit easier for you to understand, especially when you're working with people. Because in your workplace, you're going to be working with different personalities. In your school, you're going to have different people. In your home, all your children are not the same. Your relatives are not the same. Your friends are not the same. And so that's just the way it is. And I'm hoping this has gotten a little message across to someone out there and thank you so much for watching please subscribe please share with your friends and i look forward to seeing you in the next video
Thank you and God bless you.